Hello, welcome to Lil's Vintage World. This video is a book review of Sing Me Who You Are by Elizabeth Berridge. This is a British Library Women Writers series book, uh, a recent release. And thank you to the British Library for very kindly sending me a copy. I absolutely love these books so much. You can actually see some of them behind me. They keep going as well. I love them so much. I found some absolute gems. Anyway, so this book, Sing Me Who You Are by Elizabeth Burridge. I've never read any Elizabeth Burridge before. This is from 1967 and it's about this woman called Harriet who inherits from her aunt a green bus, an old green bus, but not the land it is situated on. She's just inherited the bus, but with fear that the bus would kind of like fall apart if it was moved essentially it's kept where it is <laughs> and it sits right next to her cousin's big old house um so her cousin lives in big old house in the country and in the field lives harriet and harriet and her cousin magda couldn't be any more different if they tried i think I think there's like six years between them. I'm sure it's said six years. <laughs> six years between them. Uh, Magda's the older. And um, they're just so different. At, at times they have kind of lived together as children, um, but they're just, they're so different. And they've just completely grown apart. Harriet is single. Magda is married, but not married for the reason you'd kind of expect to get married. And it's a book about love and friendship and post-war and um housing and economy and it's it's one of these books that it starts off quite simple and then it gets a bit complex i started off actually feeling quite sympathetic for harriet um because i kind of didn't like magda at the beginning but then i ended up not liking anyone at the beginning <laughs> i think i really clear way to show how different they were and I think it was so subtly done at the beginning was to introduce the animals so Harriet has two cats whereas Magda has like five dogs or whatever it is just the simpleness of like a dog person you know you say oh are you a dog person or a cat person as if you can't be both of course you can be both but um just to show that their differences run so complex yet so on the surface too um and they just it's difficult it's very very difficult um I don't want to say too much because it will spoil it for you it's one of these stories where I started off reading it and I was enjoying it I wasn't loving it but I was enjoying it and then I felt it got a little bit complex for me so I put it down and I picked it back up um in time to finish it and it's a bit strange actually because out of these, you know, these books, most of which have got like four star, um, there's a few that have got a five star, there's some that keep lingering in my head that I think what that I originally gave a four star that I think, oh, you should be a five star really. Um, you know, and the only one that I've given lower than a four star is Chatterton Square by E. H. Young, um, which I'm just not sure if I was in the right mood when I read that, to be honest. And this one, Sing Me Who You Are, I still really enjoyed it. I still liked it. I just didn't enjoy it as much as the others. And I'm not sure if it's just because it's not quite a me book, um, or if it was the complexity of the writing or the complexity of the story or the fact that I just didn't connect with any of the characters. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't like any of the characters by the end. <laughs> um, and I think that makes it difficult to register your emotions when you don't necessarily like some characters. <laughs> um, and because then all you're going off is plot and you're hoping that the plot kind of excites you enough and I'm not quite sure if this did. I'm still really glad that I read it and there's some really, really strong points. I also think probably the reason, the biggest reason why I probably didn't like it as much as some of the others is the humour. I am not a dry humour person. This is, it's, it's strange because 
at times it's really, really sad, but at other times it's full of dry humour. And if you have a really dry sense of humour, you'll love this book. I don't. I am... I don't have that type of humour in me. I'm very, like, Blackadder only falls, you know, when he falls through the um, bar and faulty towers and, you know, my mum calls it silly humour, but not. I'm not into, like, dry comedy and this is full of dry comedy. Um, so perhaps that's probably the reason why, because in books... Even if, like, I don't connect to characters or I don't necessarily connect to the plot, if it's got humour behind it, I'm usually, like, yes, really, really enjoying it. But the humour's got to match mine, and it just didn't on this level. I'm still glad that I read it, and I will definitely pick it up again in the future, because sometimes with books, I think you have to be in the right mood. And I'm not sure if I was in the right mood when I was reading this. I'm not sure if I was in the right frame of mind. I've got a lot going on in my head. And perhaps it just didn't quite leave room for this book. But yeah, I am glad that I read it. And um, even if it's not my cup of tea, perhaps it will be yours. I do want to quickly shout out the cover because I think the cover is just amazing. So the, the bus in which Harriet lives in is green. So the cover's green. And Harriet has cats. And there's cats on the cover. Can you see? Cats. I think that's so cool. They did um, the home. Excuse me, I'm just reaching over. They did the home by Penelope Mortimer. I've got a bookmark of it as well. And which they did doors. Because in this, our main character moves into a house for the first time as kind of like a single woman. Um, and she's starting out as this woman that is separated. So of course it's got doors and I think that's so clever. So got doors and cats. I love it. So yes, there we have it. Sing Me Who You Are by Elizabeth Burridge. Um, let me know what you think of my review. I, I just want to be honest with you and I don't feel the point in doing any of these videos if I'm not being completely honest. I liked it, I just didn't love it. Um, so, but it might be more of your thing than it is mine. So thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think of the book, um, if you're gonna get your hands on it in the comment section below, or if you've read any Elizabeth Burridge before. I have not. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Take care and I shall see you soon for the next one. Bye for now.